Hey guys. Really some great news and some um, a couple firsts for me uh, in a world of um, New World Order in commies everywhere. Um, I've got my first blue and my first female better ever. Um, her name's Juno and well she's gorgeous uh, like Mars she was four dollars um, I've never considered getting a female before um, but Mars is such a sweetheart and so gentle and so kind I mean he's never done nothing but give Tom Tom those are the Tetras here just a peek I mean he just is the sweetest thing ever so I thought, well, quite frankly, I saw her and fell in love with her. Um, and there was a black, ew, I've got some stuff on my, I, I obsess. And is there's like spots on my aquarium there. It really bothers me. So um, I've got a little polisher, a nail buffer, which I'll talk about in a minute here that actually works really well um, on those but I decided to try I mean we might even who knows we might have some babies we might get babies it's possible I mean Mars is very happy and he does build bubble nests uh, and he fangs out up here <laughs> with these leaves that's another story he's hiding underneath his leaves right now he's hiding from her see so if anything this dude is gonna end up being a battered husband because and then I'll have to get another tank oh there he is oh no he, yeah there's Mars there he is right there my beautiful boy I love him so much he's so sweet and um just so Kind. See, I got this tank because Felix, he ate all the guppies. I mean, Telly, Kojak, Baby, all of them. And then he, he hated Tom Tom. He hated, he hated the Tetras, the Neon Tetras with a passion. And I just felt so sorry for them. I just was just, you know, they were going to be, they were going to be Felix snacks, no doubt. So I, I'm going to have to get rid of these, these, these streaks are really bothering me. I didn't see them until I was actually recording here. So, um, yeah, that's why I got this tank to begin with, which I love. Actually, it's a, a it's a, big round tank and it's just really awesome and then so anyways I got the tank for Tom Tom here the two Tetras so um and that's how it started and then I had gotten Mars and Neptune they had the tank to themselves until I um introduced Mars and Neptune Neptune is the catfish there Pluto, the snail there, uh, he's dead, but Montezuma, the Inca gold snail, and I tried to clean them up before making this video. He, there's one right there, see? He had like a hundred million babies because they're like trannies. They like do themselves and just reproduce, which I didn't know. So I was um, transferring snails from Felix's tank to this tank. And they're just really tiny. They're just little tiny. But when you see those spots, those are baby snails. 
So, anyways, um, Juno seems to like it. I mean, honestly, I wanted to bring them all home. When I see them, I see she's like Flasher. She's a Flasher. She's flashing like in Neptune and Tom Tom and stuff a bit. So, well, I heard that you can keep them in sororities, the females. They like being together. I mean, and, um, I mean, obviously, it, it depends if they like each other or not, if they, uh, and you never know if they're going to like each other or not, but I know that Mars won't hurt her. I just know he won't. Like I said, he's just so sweet. And Tom Tom's, like, kind of hiding from her. They're like, oh, man, who's this bitch? But I wanted to give a shout-out to... Um, all my witches, first of all, um, especially Susie Blue Witch, I got your Christmas presents today. Oh, I had so much fun with those. That was so much fun. Those little brats are like teeny, teeny, teeny little dolls. Uh, like dolls for the dolls. They have like their own little boxes and everything. And then in the other one, it is like mascara and it's like real mascara and eyeshadow like for dolls. So you'll definitely be seeing those in Oh My Raw. That little mixy thing was fun too. It created all these like little bubbles and it's this little cute little like puppy with like a rose on his ass. He's gonna be somebody's pet for sure too. That was a lot of fun. And the food, I haven't made the food yet, but um, that looks fun too. So we'll be seeing those in uh, Oh My Raw because I have all of these new monsters that I haven't gotten a chance to play with yet, actually. So, um, I did want to say that, and also a shout out to uh, my sister, Tracy in New Zealand, and Shiner is 17, so Tracy and I have been friends for 17 years, and it's always exciting to, you know, get back in touch with the two percent and my grade school girlfriends Kathy and Laurie so I even I'll even say hello to a uh, little jack and off because he might check this video out he doesn't watch my doll videos he says they're stupid and everything but he uh he likes the fish he's he's a fish keeper he, more so than me so um Anyways, these nail buffers work really well for um, getting any kind of scratches out of the tank and all these spots and stuff. I'm going to have to they work on those too. So, um, there was a black male there that, oh, my goal. I probably call him Lennox, as in Lennox Lewis. I wanted to, like, get a new tank just so I could get him. I loved him so much. He was so cool. So, in the future, I think I'm going to be... I'm going to look for a black male. She's my first blue. She's actually very blue, but she does look a little black, too, because she's just absolutely gorgeous. That's what I mean. I just couldn't resist her. They did have a red matching female, which maybe. Mars might have liked, and liked her more, I don't know, but I just could not, oh, look, there's Gypsy there, anyways, I just could not resist, um, Juno here, I just know they're all gonna be very happy together, so, my god, what if I had, like, little baby bettas, wouldn't that be fun? Oh, they say that's not, that's not right, that you're, like, a bad, like, fish parent if you try to breed them and stuff because there's enough of them in the world but you know some people get their men fixed too so I'm kind of natural myself so let's see what's where's my little I'm looking for my buffer to get oh there's my buffer so I can get these spots out on here oh gosh there's spots all over the back of the tank too that's because when you lift this, when you lift this, uh, when you lift the lid, it produces all this, con there's those baby snails too, it produces all this condensation which the water runs down on the back of the tank, 
Some people gave it uh, the bat, the tank a bad uh, review due to that, but you just need to wipe it off. You usually don't notice it like this, but it's just because I'm making this video so, that I, so I really notice it. thought I had this all done before I put this video together, actually. But, there's Mars. Isn't he gorgeous? <laughs> My $4 baby. Oh, he's so beautiful. I just love this fish, honestly. I mean, I love my me some Felix and all of my fish before, all my bettas. I've always had red bettas. I mean, I've kept them since high school. And I always name them Simon. <laughs> so I've had like all these Simons. They usually live, usually live about five, three to five years. My bettas, which the the people tell me that that's, that's normal. But I've heard that they can live to be 10, actually, if they have like exercise and stuff. And even the Tetras live to be five. So, I mean, I try to be a really good fish mama. So, um, oh, speaking of which, I, and I heard this from, I think, Logan, at fish, the fish keeper, or one of the guys that I subscribe to, which is really informative. Um, besides the, that married couple, they're, they're fun too, that uh, I think it's K, KG Tropicals. They're really nice too. But anyways, I heard that these shrimp pellets, they help to clean the water. And I heard that the bettas love these the best. And honestly, that's true. They got this for Christmas. They love them. So, um, those are almond leaves there. That's Neptune, the catfish, and Tom Tom, or the Tetras. Um, Venus did die. I cried, but... When I got it, she was another neon. I wanted to get about six of them, but the guy at the pet store told me I couldn't. He said I could only get another, just one more, right? So I got this um, one, and she had like a bad swim bladder. And I had her for months, and I tried to fix her with like peas and everything else. I heard that neon tetra disease is just like... um and then internet fabrication as usual. I always tell everybody don't believe anything you read on the internet because it's like some moron seventh grader in his, in his basement writing this shit down and and that's true. Honestly, that's true. Anyways, I heard really that the real reason, this guy in Australia that keeps a lot of fish said that they just breed them in the millions so they're often damaged because, you know, they're overcrowded they're malnourished, and I mean, now, I've had Tom Tom since July, and you can see what, I mean, these two are voracious. They love eating, let me tell you. So, they they love eating. And, um, they used to steal Felix's food out from under him. That's where the problem started, really. And it was the same with the guppies. Like, I've heard you can keep guppies with buttas. That's bullshit, honestly. Uh, no. Those guppies, they would, like, like peck at Felix and stuff like that and tick him off. So that was the reason why he was always going after them and stuff. I mean, they, they instigated the problems. So, yeah, they're like nibblers, and they're, they're not any good at all. But anyways, um... These two are very, they're very healthy, and they're very happy, and I don't know, I heard that they don't do well when you only have a couple of them, you're supposed to have a school of them, which is why I wanted more, but these two like each other, here, here comes Mars, he's like, actually, he's usually, he's usually very shy, but he's like coming out to see us, he really, oh look, they're meeting, look, he's sort of, I told you, he's sort of hiding from her, but... They're, they, they've really met. They, he was checking her out when she was, you know, floating in her container before I started this video. He wasn't. Look, he's sort of, I told you. He like hiding from her. Now, Felix will be chasing her down. Felix would probably kill her. He's rotten, honestly. I mean, I love him. He's like a little cat dragon. He, he's a wonderful, he's a wonderful guy. Um, but, um, he's, uh, very aggressive. So... I think Gina's going to be very, I think she's going to be very happy here, actually. See, when I got this amphora, actually, I had given it, Felix has like a, um, an eastern temple. It's like two-tiered. 
If you have a Bata, get get them one of those. They love them. And anyways, I had replaced this Amphora here for his temple. I switched it with this Amphora. I thought he would like it very much. You know, it's got all sorts of things. Like Mars likes sleeping in the handles, actually. Super cute. He also goes in uh, inside, and then there's like a way inside from the top and from the bottom. So it's it's really cute, and Felix hated it. He was just so miserable until I had to put his temple back. He just wasn't having it. He was like, no, I don't like that at all. I want my temple back. So he's got his temple back, and he's very happy. He sleeps in the top. He sleeps in the bottom. He loves it. Felix has some more plants. Oh, there's something else that I had talked about in a blog, but, like, I was getting little lily pads on Amazon, because they really love those little, those little pads, like, they were sleeping in them, and they were, um, like, nibbling on them, they just seemed to have so much fun with them, and, um, they were just dissolving. They would only last a couple weeks. They were just dissolving in the water. So I started, you know, trimming my out of control house plants and um just floating. Like actually these are some house plants in, in the amphora here too. And just floating the leaves, especially from the uh artorium. And they love them. They <laughs> they sleep on them. They last a long time. Some of the plants, I have like this like sort of cactus kind of palm that um that really um really um last, I mean, weeks. Most of them last a, a long time actually, and then they get sort of yucky and I just throw them away eventually but I don't know this cactus thing is like real um supple you know and uh that seems to work very well so I've been doing that too besides the almond leaves there so um there's Mars so as you see, he's got some green on him too, besides just being, he's just like a, he's like a real common, um, I think a Delta tail, uh, better, which I don't think I've ever really had one of those before either, but he was just awesome, and yeah, he, he is awesome, I love him, he's gorgeous, there he is, so, um, and yeah, you can see he has some green on, there he is with her. Look at that. He's like, oh, what the fuck, bitch? What's going on here, Mom? What'd you do? Yeah. <laughs> He's sort of like hiding his little head. I think they're going to be all right, actually. I really do. So, I would just wanted to... I'm so excited, actually. So, it's going to be fun to, um... To see what happens with them. If the, the, they're going to end up being like married with children or what. There she is. You know, and they have lots of places to hide and everything in here. So I think that they should be. I mean, I think they're going to be all right. I really do. But I was just so excited and never had, never had a girl beta before. You know, never even had a blue beta before. So. That's Neptune. He's super cute. He's like a scruffy little dog. He's like, yeah. And, um, so, um, oh, um, Donatella did finish her connect collection, so hopefully the next video is going to be the fashion show at the Chateau. I'm finishing up with a uh, little Stevie doll. Since, you know, the toy hacks all sell the Stevie dolls for $200 on eBay now. I have, I'm watching on uh, Target to let them know. I want, I want when they get more in, in uh, stock. Because, I mean, I will spend $55 for her, But I'm not spending $200 for some from some toy hack, you know. Some goo garbage. I get so pissed off with them, actually. It's like with Jack and Sally, too. It's ridiculous. So, I tell you, 
98 percent are motherfuckers eh, everywhere um but um mars isn't a motherfucker he's sweet and hopefully juno is gonna be nice too so I start up a lot of stuff. My tank's usually really pretty pristine, but because I was in there messing around and everything like that, that's why you see all kind of stuff floating in there too, as well. So, oh, she's got some sort of stripies on her. Look at that. Isn't she pretty? I always say the girls are not, but she is very beautiful. So, I'm just thrilled with her, actually. I mean, she's probably, you know, she doesn't know. She's like, wow, there's, like, other people in this tank and stuff. I'm like, oh. So. Um, I almost did. I was looking at the baby girls, actually. But I was like, uh, I, I, I don't know about a baby girl. So, I figured this girl. I mean, I, if more started any shit with her, she, I, she looks like she could fend for herself to me. But, like I said, I don't think he will. But, um, oh, I was talking about the little Stevie doll, so that's what where I'm at right now. I got, I had been looking for, I have this Dawn doll clone Glory that I just love because she doesn't have, like, that nasty green knees, broken split knees, uh, Dawn doll body. She has this really beautiful, supple body, but she's got, like, the, the Glory head still, and I wanted to find another one, and, and I did in Canada, and she's actually uh, a raven-haired uh, Dawn, so she's gorgeous, because she's got, like, blue eyes and black hair, but she's got that same beautiful, it's a little extra curvy from the Dawn dolls, but it's real nice, like, nice legs and everything like that. I don't think their legs bend, actually. I've never tried to bend them, because... I don't like, I don't want any broken leg dolls, but I'm not picky about everything, and, um, uh, I, it, I got along with that collection, and I wanted it because it had the pants from the patio party in it, which was one of the Dawn doll outfits that I had wanted and liked, but it came along also with a blonde rock flowers doll from the 70s. And as a surprise from the the collection and the um in the fashion show, she's gonna be thrown in there, Stevie, and she's gonna be dressed in red hot. So hopefully I'll have it done by Valentine's Day. I should, because it's really cool, like very Stevie with fringes and and feathers and flapper looking, and um. That's what I'm finishing up right now. Actually, I have her boots done and her 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 she's painted and all that. So I just have uh I'm working on her dress actually. I just started on her dress. So hopefully I'll have that done in a couple in a couple days and hopefully the next video then will be um the fashion show at the chateau which I'm really looking forward to besides another season of Oh My Raw which I've already I've already talked about that but look forward to that too but I wanted to introduce you to um Juno my beautiful girl so very exciting and uh I will keep you updated with that so yeah here's my adorable gypsy my latest and last Hempstead that I actually um, have dressed in um, a 20s handmade silk christening gown so that's her and my bonnie from the new hope train hopeless so there's, she's right here looking at the fish too there's Grandma's Mermaid. That was my grandma's. I repainted her. That's one of my favorite things from childhood. This is one of my oldest memories, too. And she sits right here by my fish tank. And, um, let's just get to say goodbye. There's, there's Juno, my beautiful new lady. She says hello. And I'm going to say hello to Uncle Carl and Teresa, too. Mars is hiding in his leaves like I knew he would be. So, until he gets used to her, he's going to have to get used to her. He's going to have to get to know her. So, she's like, wow. You know, she has, like, this big 
these big digs now, so she's been living in a cup for a long time. But my lovely little girl, and um, I will talk to you soon. I'm very excited. And I'll see you later.